Good afternoon, everyone. John Cora here, McClinton Chevrolet Mitsubishi. And we're taking a look at something that, for all intents and purposes, is pretty rare these days. A brand new 2022 Chevrolet Malibu. We actually haven't had a new Malibu in almost a year on the lot. So we're excited to get this RS trim level here. And we're gonna do a little walk around today, show you some of the features of this, of this model and uh, explain who the ideal customer is for a vehicle like this. So let's get started. So here we have it, a 2022 Chevrolet Malibu RS. One, like, like I said, one of the first Malibus we've had in almost a year. Uh, this one is of course silver. It has the 1.5 liter four cylinder engine with the CVT transmission. The RS is kind of a mid range. It's got a lot of features on it, but the Premier does come above this one and you can get the 2.0 uh, four cylinder on the Premier. But this is a very well equipped sedan, midsize, competes with vehicles like the Toyota Camry, the Honda Accord, Kia's new K5, which replaced the Optima, the Hyundai Sonata, and you know, formerly the Ford Fusion. So Chevrolet does still make the Malibu, and it is one of the last cars that Chevrolet makes. Uh, most of Chevrolet's vehicles now are SUVs, crossovers, and trucks. So you have the Malibu and the Spark now, as well as the Camaro and the Corvette. But as far as traditional cars go, you just have the Malibu and the Spark. So let's do a quick walk around. Uh, once again, it is winter here in the Mid-Ohio Valley. So I apologize, this one's covered in snow and I haven't had time to thaw. It's actually covered more so in ice than snow. But you'll get a good idea of the layout of this vehicle. Currently, we do have it priced at $26,830. We are not doing crazy markups on our vehicles right now. Obviously, there's an inventory shortage. Some dealerships are putting crazy markups on them, but we are not. You have the blackout badges here, which make it look nice. Nice rims on this one, too. That black and silver really stands out. I like that quite a bit. On the back here, you have your taillights. Once again, you get those blacked out badges, which really make it pop against the silver. Here is the trunk. Actually, great trunk space for a four-door sedan. You get a lot of suitcases in there. So if you're doing like a uh, weekend trip or anything, plenty of, plenty of room to take this car traveling. Of course, right here, you can pull that and it will take the seats down. Um, I actually had a 2005 Chevrolet Malibu. Mine was also silver, great vehicle. Uh, I put over 160,000 miles on it. Very few issues, liked it quite a bit. Uh, great car, for, especially for someone who's gonna be doing a lot of commuting. Up here we have the split grill, headlights, turn signals. Gotta love the way that front end looks. That split grill is just a really signature design for the Malibu now. In fact, mine back in 2005 had something similar. Now granted, it's a lot more aggressive now than it used to be. Uh, one nice thing about this one, especially with the CVT, is you get up to 36 miles per gallon highway uh, and 29 in the city. So very fuel efficient vehicle, especially considering it's not a hybrid, it's just a traditional uh, 1.5 liter engine with forced induction from the turbo. Of course you have the pass key system here. All you have to do is pass or push that button to lock or unlock the vehicle. Let's go ahead and get inside. Over here you have your power windows, power mirrors, power door locks your uh, little lockout there for the window so your children in the back can't do it. This model does have the power seats and of course cloth seats as well. Uh, leather is available in the Premier. All right, so now we're inside and we're taking a look here at the steering wheel. It's pretty simple. Uh, to the left here you have your settings for cruise. Uh, the lane keep assist up here is where your heated steering wheel would be if this was a Premier. To the left you have your uh, headlight control, it does have automatic headlights. 
There is your infotainment screen. Of course, OnStar is available on this vehicle. Down there, you have your HVAC controls. It does have the auto start, start stop lockout on the, on the uh, console here, so you can turn that off, which is nice. You got your parking sensor button down there, traction control, standard trans, or not standard transmission, but pretty simple transmission layout. A lot of vehicles are going to like the turn dials or the push button transmission levers. With this, it's just a traditional lever. Down there, you got your electronic parking brake, your cup holders. Uh, very simple to use as far as these HVAC controls go. It's like either you want it pointing to your face or to your feet. Of course, you got your rear defroster, your front defroster control there. It is push button. Let's go ahead and start this baby up. Now, one thing that you just saw pop up there, which is new, uh, of course, now it says ice possible drive with care. Um, but with a lot of new Chevrolets, especially I learned this on the Suburban and the uh, Tahoe, you have to buckle your seatbelt in order to shift the vehicle out of park. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, the tire pressure's right here, a little screwy because it is winter. <laughs> it's below freezing right now. Um, pretty simple to use. I mean, you've got pretty standard gauges. Up here is your uh, controls for the OnStar. Uh, great system to use your glove box cloth interior so who should buy this vehicle is, is the question we're going to get a lot like why or why should i buy this vehicle honestly if you have a small family if you're wanting something that's a little bit more efficient something that's affordable great gas mileage or if you have a long commute like i said on my malibu i put 160,000 miles on it it was great it was reliable uh, this is actually really comfortable too uh, i'm six foot four and i have like two inches of headroom left and now, granted, I do have the seat all the way back. I would move it up if I was actually driving this vehicle. So there's a lot of room in this vehicle. So um, if you want something that's comfortable, uh, a little bit easier to drive, something that's going to be really reliable, check this out. Um, great, great quality Chevrolet. Malibu's been around for a long time. And then I just shut it off. I actually like that rear seat reminder. So if you do have children in the back, it always, if you open the rear door at any point before you start the vehicle, it will remind you to check the back seat when you shut the vehicle off. Just a great way to keep your kids safe. And um, yeah, it's, 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 it's a nice feature. Oh, it does have automatic headlights also. That's pretty cool. All right, so that is your walk around on the 2022 Chevrolet Malibu RS. One thing I do want to mention, if you buy this vehicle from a Clinton Chevrolet, you get a 10 year million mile powertrain warranty on it. So it's built to last. Uh, you do get a three year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty from Chevrolet. Uh, we've been in business since 1915, so over a century. Um, if you have questions, give us a call, 304-422-6501, mcclintonchevrolet.com. And uh, we'll see you next time.